Hello creatives, you're welcome to this video tutorial again. This is David Gladness and on this particular video, I'm going to be showing you some tips you can actually make use of to make your design project easier for you. Okay, so I was going, I, I was trying to delete some things on my phone yesterday, but then I come across some screenshots. I, I had to go through my screenshots before deleting them so that I can know if they were still important or they are no longer needed. Now, from the screenshot, I came across this particular message. You can see, I came across these messages. I think there was a time I was hosting a class, a free class, and some of the questions I got, which I, I wanted to attend to, but I, I actually forgot is that they were asking me how I got the Naira sign on my own keyboard. They were asking me how I got the Naira sign. You can see, like this person, hello boss, I can't find the Naira sign on my own keyboard like yours. Please, how do you find it and the bullet dot, please? okay then this person also asks um this particular third message you're seeing right here the person is asking hello boss thanks for all you've been doing for us in the train in your training may god bless you but sorry to disturb you sir um while i was watching the burger design tutorial i noticed you use the naira sign you can you can see that again the naira sign on your from your keyboard please what's the name of your phone or how can i find it on my phone actually it is it doesn't matter the phone you are using as long as you are making use of a mobile phone you can still get it okay now the thing is in some phones you are not going to get it such as an iphone some of the iphone actually but then you can still try it out now be, be, without further ado i would like to just go straight to the point i'm going to be showing you how you can get the naira sign to your own phone okay so let me quickly go to um let me just type in something now all you need to do is to locate your keyboard setting now the function i'm trying to use the way i'm going to the technique i'm going to use might be likely um it's likely going to be different from yours the technique i'm going to use is likely going to be different from yours but just locate that particular setting on your own phone okay so i will just go to my let me just go to let's say um let go to, let me go to my pixel lab okay let me just go to my pixel lab now the technique i used to use before i actually find out how i can do it is that if i want to design i'll just go to my google or wherever okay i'll go to my google then i will type in naira let's just type in naira i'll just type in naira and when i type in naira i'm just going to copy um i'm going to copy the naira sign okay where you can see this symbol you can see symbol right here that is highlighted you can see this please what i do is just that i'll copy it before okay i'm going to show you a way you can get it to your keyboard i'll copy it then i'll go back to my design app as i've copied it now if i want to use it let's say on this text all i need to do is to paste it as you can see so i can keep pasting and i, I, I will get as much as possible that is the first way i used to use it before i get to find out i can actually add it to my keyboard now if you want to add it to your keyboard this is how you go about that um you are going to go to your keyboard setting if you are an iphone user or you are you are not getting this same function just go to your your phone setting and locate your keyboard okay now i'm just going to tap on this place yeah you can see this dot right here this particular dot this box i'll tap on it now when i tap on that box you can see this setting icon this setting icon right here that is what we are going to be clicking on but then in your own case okay in your own case you can see this setting icon this is what i say we are going to be clicking on let me click on back again this particular setting icon you are seeing right here this is what you're going to be clicking on okay but then in your own case in some cases actually this particular setting icon is not available it is being hidden maybe around here and as you can see the setting icon might not be there it might not be there all you need to now do is to click on this box icon this particular box icon you're seeing right here so when you click on it you can now see your setting from there now just make sure you locate your keyboard setting whichever way you can locate it okay now before I, I start showing you i'll click on this and as you can see this is showing me the dollar sign this is showing me the dollar sign now from the first person's question how can he get the naira sign and also how he can get the bullet dot actually the bullet dot this is the bullet dot this particular dot right here is different from the full stop it is different from the full stop you can see it so in some cases you have to long press you have to long press to see some other functions you have to long press to see some other things that are available okay so you can't always expect your own to be visible outside like my own is visible you have to long press to see some other things that your keyboard can do then secondly to get the naira sign the main reason why this video tutorial was created 
is because this particular um we want to change this particular you can see we long phrase we have the ghana cities we have the pounds we have the rupees we have the um europe europeans currency and so on now we want to add our own currency as a nigerian all you need to do is to click on the setting icon okay locate the setting and go to your google setting now you see this place you're seeing languages it is because your own is in english us this is the, the um, US, the United States English language, okay? Now, we are going to click on Add Keyboard. Now, all you need to do is to search for, you, you can search for it or just scroll and look for where you are going to see English Nigeria. You can see this, English Nigeria. Or you just say, if, if your own is not as, um, it is not as close as mine, you can just search from the top and just search for Nigeria. And it's going to bring all the Nigerian, this thing. You can see we have Nigeria Pigeon, but then we want to make use of this English Nigeria. So we are going to tap on it. And then just click on, select the one you want, then click on done. I'll be making use of this particular first one. You can scroll to look for the keyboard you feel like using, but then I'll just make use of this first one and click on done. And that is all you need to do. Now, if you feel like you can, you can delete this particular one, you can delete this particular one by tapping on this pencil like icon you're seeing right here and when you tap on it you can decide to delete it and you can decide to use it it is not actually necessary you can decide to leave it but then i don't feel like using two keyboard so i'm going to be using this as it has been selected now as you can see you cannot tap on back now if you should go back to your keyboard it's going to be showing you the naira sign since you are now using the english nigeria keyboard you can see it is now showing me the naira sign and as you can see that is basically how you can do it making use of your keyboard so as i've said earlier you ca your own functions the way i came to my settings can be different you can go to your phone setting go to your phone setting locate your keyboard and just set it it is the same way just go to your settings and just search for keyboard and just locate it whichever way you can locate your phone keyboard all right so thank you for sticking around to the end of this video tutorial please if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button and if this video has been helpful give it a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend it to more people and drop a comment so that i will know that the video was helpful thank you once again see you on the next video